I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but there is a possibility Republicans can win the Washington governor's race. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video today. It is time that we talk about the chaos unfolding in the state of Washington. And I know, we're talking about Washington? A deep blue seat that Republicans haven't won in many years? Well, th there's two reasons why. One, there is an open seat governor's election next year. And as many of you know, governor elections can be wacky. Well, I mean, why do you think we got Phil Scott in New ha uh, Vermont? Why do you think we got Charlie Baker had him in Massachusetts? You know, governor elections can be wacky. But number two, Republicans have arguably one of the best recruits they could possibly have in the state. Former Congressman Dave Reichert is running. And if there's one guy that could win the governorship, it would be him. Now, let's be clear. I'm not saying Republicans are going to win this seat. I still think Dems are the clear favorites. With that being said, the dynamics at play here could make it more competitive than expected. Now, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for a dollar a month, you can join Real American. This is the best way to support the daily content that we all know and love. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today now like i said before i'm not saying republicans gonna win this seat but the dynamics here you can't ignore you just can't so let's get into it what uh republicans keep thinking they can win washington state they write your thinks this time is real five years after leaving politics the former representative is running for the state's open gubernatorial seat in 2024 and is seen as the party's frontrunner heading to the new year. Republicans have insisted they could be competitive in the state, despite its overall blue tilt, but have lost recent high-profile elections here, aka last year. And I know everyone's going to bring that up. You thought Tiffany Smiley was going to win. Number one, uh, yes, I bought into some of the hype that she was going to make it much more competitive than expected. But I still thought she was going to lose by, what was it, four to five points? Even though she lost by a lot more than that, I still thought Dems were the clear favorites in the race. I just thought it was a good possibility Republicans would do better than expected here. Or do out as expected. You know, four or five point defeat. But this is not a Senate race. This is a gubernatorial race, which can be more wacky, where weird stuff can happen. Now President Joe Biden carried the state by 19 in 2020, so... It's a D-plus-20 state. We're just going to round up to it. That's usually a sign of you can't win here as a Republican. But both Democrats and Republicans of the state believe this race could be competitive because of right shirt. Even Dems are saying, hey, wait a minute here. This guy, he's a well-known figure who has a lot of political capital in the state. He can make this race much more competitive than expected. Okay, when they say we can't win in Washington State, we can. Reichert said in an interview in the, a Spartan campaign office here last month. You, you can if you're the right candidate at the right time. Reichert carries significant name ID in the state's most populous areas, both from his time in Congress and as sheriff of King County, home of Seattle. Yeah, he was a sheriff and a congressman of King County. Why do people think that he can't win when he won this, the biggest area already? I know that that was 20 years ago or whatever, but still, he is a sheriff, a former sheriff and a congressman. I think people know who he is, at least they should. So that's why people are saying, hey, wait a minute. This guy has a record of winning King County, where Seattle is. Now... Before I forget, right shirt is not your MAGA conservative. Despite what Dems are going to try to do, they do this to everybody. 
He was from the moderate wing of the party while in DC, and maybe tougher to paint as a MAGA diehard. It doesn't matter what, who you run. They're going to paint him as a MAGA Republican. That's who they do to anybody. They would do it to Phil Scott if they had to. But Reicher is not MAGA. He's just a moderate Republican. Which in his circumstance, that's fine. You know? You're from the more Democrat part of a very Democrat state. Reichert argues that the state struggles with crime and homelessness, a particular crisis in King County, and general lingering pessimism about the economy creates the opening, which it does. I mean, when even many Democrats are saying the economy sucks, and when they're saying, hey, what's happening in, like, King County is a joke. Remember when they set up those, what was it called? It was, like, Chad or whatever, Chaz, that anarchist part of the city? where nobody could do anything about, where anarchists took over the city or part of it. That's what happened in Seattle. So it's like, they've been dealing with this crap for many years now. It's getting just worse and worse and worse. It's like, at some point, these voters, they're going to have to either live with it and stop complaining, or they're going to have to vote for somebody that's going to try to fix it. Reichert's candidacy will test the potency of of tough on crime policies in blue states and the degree to which voters will punish even well-known Republicans for sharing a ballot with former President Trump, the party's old but assured presidential nominee. A victory would be a massive uh, for Washington Republicans who have little power in the Pacific Northwest state. There hasn't been a GOP governor in nearly 30 years and there's no statewide elected Republican currently serving. The last Republican to win statewide quit her job in 2021 take a role in the Biden administration. So even the Republican that was a statewide official, she was just a Democrat. She's like Charlie Baker. But that's not what Dave Reichert is, by the way. Reichert is not Charlie Baker. He's not MAGA, but he's certainly not Phil Scott. The GOP's legislative minorities have further eroded since Trump took office, which that just polarization in a much belly hood challenge to Democratic Senator Patty Murray, last year ended in a blowout. Frickin' McConnell. Thank you for hyping all that up and spending God knows how much on that race. Got crushed. He was gonna blame Trump for that, but whatever. Democrats are worried Reichard poses a real threat. A November poll from the Northwest Progressive Institute shows a race between Reichard and Attorney General Bob Ferguson, the leading Democrat, as a jump ball. That woke everyone up. So the Democrat Party Chair Stasi Conrad said, Even among the political class, I would say there is some complacency. Democratic Governor Jay Inslee opted not to seek a historic fourth term, setting off a scramble earlier this year when he said he wasn't running. When that happened, my phone just started ringing off the hook, Richard said. The time was right. The support was there. I felt to do this. I felt motivated to do this. I felt obligation. So, yeah. The Democrat Party of Washington, they were stunned that that poll came out showing, hey, the attorney general of the state is tied with a former congressman who just recently announced, or it was like a month ago, I think. That's not a good sign. But that's right, Chert. He's been a long-known figure of the state. And part of his appeal to voters is his long public profile in the state as sheriff of King County. Reichert helped catch the Green River Killer, the infamous serial killer, in the early 2000s. He ran for Congress in 2004 and won that in the next six elections, even as voters in his district regularly voted for Democrats higher on the ticket. He was often ranked as among the most bipartisan members of the House and sometimes bucked his party, like voting to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell in the military. Again, he isn't a... MAGA Republican, but I still doubt he would be Phil Scott. There's still some parts where he would be a bit more conservative than the Phil Scott types. But he's certainly no, you know, Donald Trump or some MAGA, you know, America first conservative. He's just a moderate Republican from a blue state. Reichert said his campaign will focus on many issues, such as a broken criminal justice system. The economy and homelessness in the state, which that just seemed like common sense, but some Republicans still don't get that. Richard says the state is such an extreme outlier. He said Washington had the lowest per capita number of law enforcement in the nation, 
that those issues would resonate even though similar platforms have failed Republicans and other high-profile governor races in recent years. Because guess what? A lot of them had crap messaging when it came to crime. Right? They tried, but they just didn't work. And also, many of them aren't former sheriffs. Many of them never served in law enforcement. Guess who did? Dave Reicher did. So if there was a year for Republicans to make some kind of play at the state, it would be this year. I don't care that they're... I mean, people are going to say, oh, well, they're going to attack him for being MAGA. They're going to attack anybody for being MAGA. Right shirt is our best opportunity. It doesn't matter who they paint as MAGA. They're going to do it to anybody. There's a possibility he can win. But we just got to see what happens in the state of Washington. Not saying Democrats are going to lose. They're still the favorites. But even some Democrats, they seem to be getting worried about the race. That, hey... This former sheriff could possibly win. Anyways, folks, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Hit that little bell. Follow the social media accounts in the description down below. And, of course, join the channel today. Thank you so much. Godspeed to all of you.